Good morning, sir. Good morning. They gave me my credentials today. Nice. You didn't have to buy a boat back or anything? <laughs> I am Chris Fairchild. Uh, I've been playing with tunnel boats for 30 plus years. Uh, currently, I'm uh, the APBA president. I'm Mercury's crash test dummy. And for a job, I do industrial contracting. I'm Mike Makis, current product engineer at Mercury Main Plant. I'm crash test dummy number two. <laughs> um, got brought into the Apex program, so. Elaborate on the Apex program quickly. So yeah, so it's the four-stroke Mercury outboard. Four-stroke Mercury outboard, both the V8 and the V6 platform for Formula One and Formula Two globally. The four-stroke was a natural progression. For Mercury to be willing to invest to bring a new engine to market for a very select small group of people was an incredible thing for them to get involved in doing. And when they decided I was too old and frail to spend 10 hours a day in the boat, it was nice that Mike worked for the factory. I mean, it was exciting. I remember Chris calling me. You guys were looking for a second driver, so it was just kind of a perfect fit for me. I mean, at the time, I didn't have many years of experience. Pretty rookie, pretty green, right? Right, right. Mike needed laps. One of the biggest boosts in my career was the first time Mercury asked me to do some testing for them. And that's where you spend eight hours a day burning off laps in your boat. It was amazing how much closer it brought me to the top end of the field. I mean, I went from five seconds off at a race to I mean, pretty much consistently about two seconds off of what Chris could do. At races, if he'd get off the beach in front of me, I was playing catch up. The one time at Bay City, I think was the time I thought you were lapping me, but it was actually for position. I just <laughs> yes. let him go by. Yeah. So we've had fun. I enjoy racing against good people like Mike. So there was a time when I actually raced against his father. His dad was, uh, his dad was a fierce competitor. I enjoyed racing against him. And now I enjoy trying to help Mike become that same fierce competitor. Why tunnel boats? Uh, a tunnel boat is a very interesting creature. There's nothing more nimble and agile and turns harder on earth, as far as I'm concerned, than a tunnel boat. It, it, everything about that ride is chaotic, but when you get it all right, it's just awesome. And that's, that's what I love about it. Right, it's just awesome. I think the best part is just everyone has their own way of driving too. I mean, you can see it and everyone comes off the corner a little bit different. They fly it higher, they can do different stuff in the boat. It's just kind of like artwork for each guy. Where do you think the sport would be today if Mercury would have pulled out years ago? I don't think we'd have much without Mercury. And I would agree. Mercury has been the staple to racing in general with boats for decades. When I was young, my father took me around to race boats, young and impressionable, and I used to go to places like St. Louis and stare up at the Mercury truck and wish that I could at some point ever get to that point. Yep, I remember growing up, you knew it was a big race of the semi was there. One day they even let me pressure wash the semi just to get me out of their hair, I'm sure. <laughs> so it was just something, something I did as a kid. I remember just being part of you know, the Mercury family at the races. Now, to think they're 50 years into Mercury racing and still supporting tunnel boat racing is just awesome. From the time that I was young, I dreamed of being able to be on the Mercury truck, being able to be a factory driver, being, being part of that deal. This is, this is the fruition of a childhood dream. I'm really, <laughs> life doesn't get much better. <laughs>